Now we're going to talk about watering in these freshly sown seeds. A couple different tools that you can use, and they are exquisite, uh, are this watering can here. This is not just any watering can. This is the Haas, H-A-W-S watering can, a British concern. Uh, it's probably the best designed of all cans. Large reservoir, nice, long, narrow spout there, and an upward-facing rose. Anything in horticulture that has small perforations and emits water is called a rose. And uh, this is a well-designed can. Uh, if you have a larger area to do, you can use a rose on a hose, but essentially it's the same device. When you start and you stop, it drips and dribbles a little bit like that. So what you want to do is start away from the tray, get a step into it, get a good stream going. You can't be timid. It's really success is based on a good downward uh, motion and movement to and fro like that. Uh, so I start out over here and I just make a couple of quick passes to wet the surface soil a little bit, but more importantly to wet the seed. Uh, application of moisture to the seed, the seed will imbibe water and begin the biological and chemical processes that result in germination down the road. Uh, if I were using the rose on a hose, just a little bigger area, don't have to refill, but it's the same basic thing, a little, little swaying, a little moving, you're not ever seeing water puddle up on the surface. It's just a very light application of water. Now I'm going to water in the flat we just pricked out a little more thoroughly. Again, start away, get your stream going, step into it, and make a few even passes. As you see water starting to puddle up on the surface, stop. It means you've reached saturation on the surface. Let it infiltrate. Make another pass, or three. As you get germination and further growth, you water more deeply each time you water.